What are we doing here? Hmm. You are obviously not one of the sexy girls I invited here. Who invited you to my house? Why are you here? I am pregnant. I'm carrying your baby. <laughs> okay. You. That's hilarious. I see. You carry my baby. That's the joke of the century. You carry my baby. Will you get out of here? Before I disfigure your face and your face as well. Get out of my house, you slimy bitch. Oh, oh you came to blackmail me, right? This is a blackmail. It's not blackmail. You raped me and you're calling me a bitch. Raped or not raped, you are a bitch. Get out of my house. I am not a bitch. I am a slut. You're nothing but a cheap slut. That's what you are. Hey, am I the only guy you've ever slept with? <laughs> am I? Will you get out of my house? <laughs> I am so happy to hear this. Now you listen to me. What's your way? <laughs> when I call, you will answer. And when I clap for you, <laughs> you will dance. This is Abuja. This is my time. And I know how to give it people like you. You fool. Who is this? Look, I'm enough of this Abuja joke, okay? Both of you get out of my house before I delete you and that belly of yours off the face of this earth, okay? Don't you know what your friends do? Go and ask. Go and ask what they do. Yeah, look, please close the door behind you, all right? Close the door behind you. What madam we think? It's painful. Especially when you are hurt by the ones you loved the most. From all you have said here, your husband loves you very much. And I know he will do everything to make you happy. So stay for him. I don't want him. I don't want to see him. I don't want to talk to him. That's the reason I blocked him. He can go ahead and marry the mom. I'm done. But I'm done. I understand the pains we are going through. But your husband did not hurt you anywhere. So don't punish him because of what his mother did to you. He loves you and you love him so much. You even gave him where he's working now. He is working because of you. You are even carrying his child. So what are you thinking? That you don't understand. You don't understand. My mother in law, she doesn't love me. But I have done everything I can for her to love me. Yet it isn't working. Right now, I don't even know if my husband is on my side or the side of the mom. But what have I done to deserve all of this? She doesn't like me and you're telling me to go back to that same house. My mother in law doesn't want to see me. But I can't. <laughs> Nena, there's nothing God can help you. Now, listen to me very well. I will tell you a story. Just wipe your tears. <laughs> Our late king and his children faced a terrible situation. His royal highness, he was blessed with two beautiful daughters and a son. But can I shock you? 
life started messing him up exactly when he was about to reap from the fruit of his level. To your father. If anything should happen to your father, you can give my keys. You can give me my keys right now. Give my keys. But if you do any silly thing, then I'll. You can't do nothing. Just give my keys. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Your father is so upset. He refused to see you because of your reckless attitude. And you're here barking like a dog. Is anything wrong with you? Is there anything wrong with you? Why are you all hating on me? I've not done anything wrong. Have you ever seen me drink or talk or, or smoke? What have I done wrong? Have you seen me do anything wrong before? You know what? I'm out here. Yeah. You will never see me again. You will never see this place again. I'm out. This out. Come here. 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 Come and very soon, she's gonna come back here because she's out of cash looking for money to do her dental drawings, her smoking, her going to the clubs and all that. So leave her alone, leave her alone. You can. Are you sure of these allegations? Come on. Let's be sure. Come on, man. If Fatu might be a stubborn person, mm -hmm. but I've not seen how to be a useless person. Listen, mom, you and I, and everybody in the palace, including the guards and the ladies, know that she is off the hook. Let's be sure of this allegation. That's all. Because some allegation might not be true. Whatever, man. That's fine. Okay. What gave you the right to slap my sister? You even locked up her apartment. Where do you want her to go? You even froze her account. Who gave you such rights? Well, listen, you. If you go on further, I'll end up slapping you twice what I did to you. Eh? You dare not. You to be gone, If you try that, what are these ballast? Look at this one. And mom, you were supporting him. It's true that I'm supporting him. That is exactly what we are saying before you came in. in my place that um, you don't open the stomach of the tiger or the lion in public. No. You're bringing the wrong person. And now you want me to open the stomach of the tiger, I will do so. I froze the account because your sister was bringing disgrace to this kingdom. 
and I won't watch the name, good name, I made over the years to be thrown into the wings, to the gutters. No, no, no. Now, Father, she's gone. And she has vowed not to step her foot in this palace again. Oh, yes. Since you prefer outsiders' gossip to your daughter's happiness. They are very stupid. They are very, very stupid. How dare you? How dare you? Don't think because the river is quiet that there are no crocodiles. No. Don't push me to do something that you will not like me to do. Now get out of here. Oh. He came here for now. Yes, yes, father. If you live near the river bank, you must learn to avoid the crocodiles. If you are married to a fisherman and he lives near the river, you will learn to eat late food. These are the words of our people. You see these twins? They are your blood. They are my only son. They will offend you. But an elder closes one eye, not to learn to close one eye. Learn to tolerate them. You see, when you offend one, you offend the other. You know that much. You see them forever. They will make up. But they can be sources sometimes, Paul. That's the more reason. You go and wear a jacket called NDD. Patience. You need it. Would you like somebody to beat them up and you watch? That's the same thing. They will not watch somebody insult you. Please. Learn. Learn to tolerate them. You can move on. You can move you say, You say, You say, Thank you, Father. happens to us is if my sister does not honor our birthday and refuses to show up for my wedding, I will never forgive her. Thank you, your sister told me that she will come back. Even when your father threatened to disown her if she does not come back. You know how your father anger is. Bet 
I just pray that she will come back. Is he coming? Oh, mom. Ezoba. Is he coming? Yes, of course. Ah, uh, he's coming. Really? Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't want to disappoint us. Not now that dad is waiting to see him. And um, how 40 minutes ago. Good. So I believe he should be on his way. From the first day your father set his eyes on you. I fall in love so much. Sorry, mother. It's very good. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Ah. Ah. From the first day your father set his eyes on him, he loves you from his heart. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mom, who wouldn't love his lover? He is a man with a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My daughter, yes, the beauty of a woman is her own submission to her husband. Yes, be conscious of that any time, any day. You don't have to copy or you both. Whatever he does, even when he's wrong, do not correct him in the public. You can talk to him later. Yes. Mom, do you want to turn me to a slave? No, because I don't yeah. want you to copy or you both style. <laughs> yes. Hold on, Mom. They say respect is reciprocal. Really so if my other wants respect, you should earn it. Oh, yeah. I believe in it, all right. <laughs> Oh, barista, you thank you. Ma, be conscious of your what? Be conscious of your thoughts, man. Good day, what? ladies. Uh, Mother, you, um, I think your special one is here. Really? Oh, yes. And mom. Oh, wait. I hope you are not friends with my leg. Not at all. For real? Let me see him. And mom. That you want to see me. Mm -hmm. I hope all is well. Absolutely not. Right up to you. Uh -huh. Right up to you. I just hope she honors us. Well, thanks for the gift. You're welcome. <laughs> Mom and dad are inside. They're expecting you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. And the dining is set. We even made your special. Wow. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm excited to be here today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Very correct. It's as if I was ahead of my mates. I had a vision that one day real estate would be the thing. And uh, JCT partner with us. And in a matter of months, we had made so much money. We were rolling in millions. Real estate was like a whirlwind. It was all over the place. Massive. <laughs> Hello, Kev. 
very warm. Hello. 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 You're glowing. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. How about you? How about you? The is over. Yes, ma. I am. Our perspective is not. You're welcome. Thank you. You're so handsome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Your Highness, where is London, the princess? Um, that they are in the other room trying to catch up with themselves. You know it's been a while, yeah? Oh, okay. Interesting. I have to go and meet them. Okay, absolutely. All right. Then. Um, Ezra. Um, Ezra. Your Highness. I was in Abu Jefferson years back. In fact, Area 1, Warimpa, Asokoro. Was our catchment area then? Up to now, I see, have a lot of properties there, but I decided to invest here in, in the east because years ago, a lot of our people lost their investments outside our area because of abandoned property. And I don't want to be beaten twice, one beaten twice shy. So I came home to invest here. And it's very, very healthy and safe. You know? I could live on my own That's yeah. right. Yeah. And that's why I want you to think the same. Think the same way. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm actually working on it. That's precisely what I'm doing. That is why I shuttle between uh, Oweri and Enugu. Because I want to be close to my father's throne. At the same time, make sure I invest uh, in my hometown. Fantastic. Do you didn't give him anything? Oh, that's your highness. Um, okay, fine. I'll tell the maidens to get him something to drink. Uh, once again, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Your highness, thank you very much. You know, life can be funny at times. You know, I never knew in my life. And one day, the gods of our ancestors will walk and bring me back home to the yearnings of our people. You see, nature and destiny, they walk hand in hand. I never knew that one day I would be the hero of this great kingdom. I was a very successful businessman, flying from one country to another. And uh, when nature came calling, that I must fulfill the destiny and the yearnings of our people. I have no alternative than to bow. Right. But, but Father, it, it, took you, it took the grace of God to actually slow you down. You know, and then Mom, who is always locking the doors and hiding the keys so you can have enough for us. <laughs> Anyways, that's by the way. Let's talk about Ezra Bahe. Um, um, you said you, you, you went to my sister because you love her, you're crazy over here with her. Or something. Do you want to get married to her or something? Well, um, for me, when I proposed, I told her I don't just want to be a son-in-law. I want it to be more than that. More like a, a son of consolation, if there's anything Aww. like that. <laughs> you know? Where when her name is mentioned, everybody around will smile because she's my joy, my life, my world, my everything. That's my sister! <laughs> Prince Austin Ezoba Onyedi, CEO Empire Housing, in my father's house? Right, that's me. The youngest CEO that got a multi-billionaire housing contract here in Nigeria, ever. And, and I'm not only in your father's palace, I'm here to engage my one and only true love. <laughs> Please, just get up and leave this place this minute. Just get up and delete your useless stuff from this palace! What? Honey, what's going on? Do you know my sister? Have you met her before? No. I don't freaking know her. Do you know me? No, I don't know. I've never met her before. She don't know me? No, I don't freaking. She don't freaking know me! No, I don't freaking know. I see you don't know me! Oh really? Sis, is this supposed to be your husband? As a matter of fact and reasoning. Yes! He is my fiance. 
And what is wrong with you? I am sorry, sis, but you can never marry this man. This man can never get married to you. He is a monster. He is a beast. Are you jealous of me or what? I have no reason to be jealous of you. You don't know this man too well. Please just get up and leave this man. You stand up! He's not going anywhere. What is going on here? Yes, he's going nowhere. Dad, Mom, why are you both quiet? Why is she embarrassing my fiance like that? Yeah? Hey! In fact, is something wrong with your brain? Are you not? You don't have any respect for me? Not only that I'm your father, I'm the ego of this kingdom. I have the infantry to ask my visitor to leave. Mba, something is wrong with you. Definitely something is wrong with you. Don't let me lay a curse on you. You left Abuja to come here after five years to come and cause disunity in this family. No, not here. Not here. Father, shut your mouth up. Shut it. What is what is the problem with both of you? Eh? Your father gave you the best life and education. And what do you pay in return? This unity. What is your problem? I am sorry, mother. I said, sure, sure, I'm sorry, sure. I'm you. Oh, my dead body will be my sister. This is not my sister. He said, This is not my sister. I'm going to kill you. You can never marry my sister. You are beast, we are a monster. Thomas, I, I am so embarrassed at this. Forgive me. And uh, I will ask to leave your presence. I don't want any trouble. You, you can't go, Shani. You can't go. This is my father's palace. She has no right to throw you out. Well, I'm sorry. No, no, you, you can't you leave. Me. Dad, I need to watch us first. Honey, please come back. I'm fine. I'm sorry about the scenario. Okay, I'm going to call you. I should go call the young man. Yay! It's obvious your sister doesn't like me. Alright? And I'm not gonna take that. I'm just too big for this local insult. Honey, please. I'm sorry for everything that happened. Okay? I've never seen my sister like that before. Well then maybe you should check her madness. Don't I make you happy? I always do. When you came to my end and I introduced you to my parents, did anybody embarrass you? No. Did you feel welcomed? Yes. So why am I being treated this way? Why are you people embarrassing me? I can't take this anymore. Oh, honey, please. Hey, Wait. I'm very, very sorry about how you feel. I actually know how you feel right now. And you have every right to your actions. But I want you to know that my family and I, we are sorry. We are very sorry. And then again, they want to speak to you. No, I think you should check your sister. Perhaps she's on drugs. Oh, no, don't talk like that, please. If she's not on drugs, what else could it be? In it, madness. Excuse me. Well, check her. Okay, okay, come on, ask my father first. Please. No. I'm only doing it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You know, you don't have to be there because that's why you never seem to have to be like this. I'm still a stranger to you. I don't know if you can allow me to ask that you stay to the place I am to talk to. Um, in fact, there was a good side of this. 
Father, I am sorry the way I have said it. But us in here, it will never be finished. But, but after all you did to me, you are here in my father's house to marry my younger sister. It will never work. You see, life? Life is a mystery. What goes around comes back around. If you're still around, you can't be around because this world is surround. Your marriage to my sister can be born there. It will never ever work. Who would work? Who would work? Are you jealous of me? Because I'm getting married before you. Sis, I have no reason to be jealous of you. You can't go ahead and marry every other man, but you see this monster here. He can never marry you. Never. It will never work. It's a rift. But after all you did to me, this man right here got me pregnant. He raped me. What? He molested me. Got me pregnant. He harassed me and abandoned me. And he here to marry my sister. I said he should never be well with you. Obviously not one of the sexy girls I invited here. Who invited you to my house? Why are you here? I am pregnant. I'm carrying your baby. <laughs> okay. You. That's hilarious. I see. You carry my baby. That's the joke of the century. You carry my baby. Will you get out of here? before I disfigure your face and your face as well. Get out of my house, you slimy bitch. Oh, oh you came to blackmail me, right? This is a blackmail. It's not blackmail. You raped me and you're calling me a bitch. Raped or not raped, you are a bitch. Get out of my house. I am not a bitch. I'm not a slut. You're nothing but a cheap slot. That's what you are. Hey, am I the only guy you've ever slept with? <laughs> am I? Will you get out of my house? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear this. Now you listen to me. What's your own? <laughs> when I call, you will answer. And when I clap for you, <laughs> you will dance. This is Abuja. This is my town. And I know how to give it people like you. You fool! Who is this? Look, I'm enough of this Abuja joke, okay? Both of you get out of my house before I delete you and that belly of yours off the face of this earth, okay? Don't you know what your friends do? Go and ask. Go and ask what they do. Yeah, look, please close the door behind you, right? Close the door behind you. Door behind you. You're This bastard in there. But you didn't listen to me. Just imagine the insult and humiliation you have gotten yourself into. Please, just, just, just take out this child, please. You just have to abort this child. I can't, I can't. Why? I can't because I'm royalty. Meaning? The moment I think of doing it, that, that's no sorry. Oh, cool, cool. Bobby, you're going to be in big trouble if you don't if you don't abort this child. Please. I'm just dying. I'm just dying. 
Babe, you have to do this. Because that bastard in there, that fool, is not ready to take any further leave. <laughs> if I do this, I will die. He don't take it. But babe, this is the only solution. You won't die. <laughs> do you know what? Just, just calm down, please. Stop crying. I'll take care of this, please. Please. It's okay. Let's go. Please, please get out of here, please. My name is Barista Mrs. Aisha. Come in peace. Yeah, I, I knew I recognized you. I know who you are. You were that human rights activist. Yeah, that's who you are. On TV, criticizing the government, just blabbing on, saying a lot of bollocks all over the place. I know you. And there is no way you can come here with these gentlemen and come in peace. Is that a problem? Okay. Now that you know what you know, how do you want it? In peace or in pieces? Do you know what? Mm -hmm. I can actually tear you apart now. I'm ready to fight you. However you want it, wherever you want it. The media houses, they will soon be here so. Young man, stop exchanging words with us. Officer, arrest him! Stop um, and then you bring him to me to talk. We can discuss this inside why. I don't want to touch him. If you touch me again, I'll get more control of your career. Both of you will look unidentical. It's not possible. How could you rape a girl? Put her pregnant. Abandon her. For what? Do you know what? You're heartless. With the money you think you have, I'll mess you up. Take this fool out of here. So you think we are here to exchange words with you? Now move it! Yeah, There's right. nothing to settle hold here. On, don't touch move! It. Move it! Don't! Hold on! Hold on! So Can you move?
Thank you, Roberto. Thank you very much. I uh, just want to assure you that I will abide by this arrangement. Everything should be fine. Um, in fact, please forgive me for all the trauma. I'm so sorry. I'm not interested in all these your big baby things. I'm sorry for giving me about that. And you think I'm even like, interested in your money? You don't even have money compared to my parents. My parents are very, very rich. If not for one thing, I would just get rid of this pregnancy and deal with you my own way. Let's move forward. Oh, so you can beg now, B? After all the pains and humiliation you've created on that. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Take my home. Give her whatever she wants. However she wants it. Marista. Mm -hmm. Without any question. Hmm. Should anything happen to my girl or her pregnancy, I hmm. will bring her to you. You do not present her. Meanwhile, have you paid the five million? Yes, yes, I paid. Can you check the account, please? Marista, please. I don't need the money. <laughs> I'm not a hungry girl. Sweetheart. You need the money. For the Wahala, you have to be mature. When your students have sex, I will advise you to cross the joint. Pay as you go or whatever. Not ripping the innocent girl does what they pay for her. I mean, how someone like you should know how to ask a woman out for it before having sex with her. I mean, what is sex? Okay, you are very lucky that I'm not the one. Because me, <laughs> I be proper Ijebu I will put time for your body go to water. I'm not the loosest. It's person. okay. Can we let this? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yeah, take her home. Uh, what you doing? Me too, downstairs. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, can we go? I'm ready to go. Can we go? Your hand. Oga, hold her hand. Very sad. Do it! I open the door. Are you <laughs> Don't drag me! What is this thing like? Very sad. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I love you. Bye, me. <laughs> You're very much welcome. This is my house. Whatever you need, you can use and have. This is when you feel comfortable, you feel at home, okay? Feel free to ask me for whatever you want. I am here for you, all right? I don't need anything. I am fine. All I just need is peace, rest. Because it's been hell on earth for me. That's okay. She'll be fine. All she needs is to rest. Like she needs a whole lot of it because it's been crazy. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to take your box to the room. Um, whichever room you find the box in, that will be your room. Okay? And I'll take a shower, freshen up, calm down. I'll go to the tree, get you some food, stuff up the fridge, just to make sure you're comfortable and you have everything you need. Just in case. Are you for real? Yep. Okay. Is it because of the agreement you signed with my lawyer? Because I don't get it. Well, I am not going to stay in this same house with you. I'm not interested. I need a place. Call my lawyer. I need to rent my own apartment so I can have some peace. Okay? I'm just a nice guy. A big. Okay, she'll be cool. Why is it being nice? Gina, please, can you speak with my lawyer to get my own apartment? 
I need to leave you alone and be in peace. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? But you have to be here for now, okay? I'll sort everything out later. Calm down. What is it? I'm not comfortable. I know. Just be calm. And listen. Do not trust this guy. Okay? Don't trust him. You have to be very, very careful. As in, very, very careful. Whenever you want to eat, go into the kitchen and make whatever you want to eat by yourself and for yourself. Okay? Um. I'll be rushing to the market now to stock up the house for you. I'll be back. Just be fine. It's okay. I know he's not going to try that shit with me. But then, I still need to be careful. And who say so? <laughs> Girl, trust not your own skin. Okay? Because it will peel you off. Good. been totally outrageous. I'm glad she just moved into the guest room and not into my room. Hey, how can I deal with this? My privacy is being invaded. I feel like I'm in a jailhouse and nobody's seeing it. JK, I cannot live with a woman for two days. Now I have to deal with one for one month? I'm going crazy. You guys are trying to kill me. It's over. You have to accept this. Or you want that radical lawyer to tarnish your image? Listen, you will lose and lose everything. You better calm down. Stay with her. She's beautiful. Finer than all those cheap girls. She's even industrial and cool-headed. See, stay with her so that peace will reign. I know what I'll do. I'm just gonna move into the company's premises. That's what I'll do. Just move out. How can this lady call me every three hours to find out where I am? Wants me home by 8 p.m. This is me. Home by 8 p.m.? Are you guys trying to make me go nuts? I cannot live with a pregnant woman. No. What, should, what we should be talking now is how to meet her parents. Better, better put your ass together. together. She's carrying your child. Now. There you go again. Talking about she's carrying your child. I mean, to hell with that. What? What shows that child is in your mind? What shows? Nothing. Look, you cannot trust anyone with your blood nowadays. I'm telling you. Women can be, in fact, women are dangerous. Isoba, if you're trying to do something stupid, count me out. Because I'll be the first to go back to that lawyer and bail myself off your shit. I am not trying to do anything stupid, okay? I'm not a small boy. Like you said, it is my shit. So I will deal with it. I'm paying for the consequences. I'm just trying to tighten things up. That's all I'm trying to do. Never you do to the echoes in eternity. Whatever you do to that woman and her child will affect you tomorrow. And I might not be there to shoulder you. I beg, I beg, I beg. Die that just, I beg, die, I'll kill him. Wait him. What now? Am I a small boy? I beg. I cannot stay with a lady and we don't have fun. It's impossible. Nobody cages me. Nobody can cage Prince Isoba. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Do not say I didn't warn you. Prince Isoba. Remember I told you. Join the game. Money, money rules the 
Take care of that rubbish first. Besides, I'm not taking his course again. <laughs> Don't worry. I will arrange that one. Right now, there is no money in this house. Both of us are broke. We can't afford to lose Izoba. <laughs> She's after his pocket. So are we. <sighs> anyway, he called. And I told him we will come see him tonight. You did what? I told him we will come see him tonight. I am not going anywhere. Eh? <laughs> see you. You get money. You don't even eat his money. Food in this house. That witch is dead. And I've told you I will arrange her. Bottles, the flow. What's, what's, what's all this? Why is everyone smelling alcohol? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why are you forcing yourself on a guy who doesn't give a damn about you? Hiding the pregnancy. Hmm? He has paid you serious money, yet you don't want to leave. You are not needed here. Ezoba is ours forever, and nothing can take him away from us. So get out of this house. Damn. 
Do you know what? We don't need any pregnant housemaid. What's that smell? Jeez. This is so disgusting. What kind of cologne are you wearing? Is the cologne for lizard? Even my pet at home can never use such perfume. And I bet you are not in any way referring to me. I guess you were talking to this iron sponge you put on as a wig. <laughs> Out. You know the fear face? Or you want me to design your face? Eh? Wait. Tout. Are you the drag man with tout? Then what do you come be? I can't breathe well. I can't breathe well. Do you know what? I don't blame you. I blame your poor parents for giving birth and raising a twat in the compo like you. Thank you. At least my parents are poor. Hmm? Yours are rich, Abby. Then why are you dragging a man with a poor girl? <sighs> eh? Please don't scratch my skin. Thank you. Consequency just that it's so difficult to be here and not have a get together. I work so hard and I equally party so hard. I mean, that's my life, but it's not going to happen again. I'm so sorry. I'm not stopping you from having a get together. I'm not stopping you from enjoying your life. I mean, don't you think this is going to make you up? When exactly are we going to see my father? Look, I'm currently doing a project. It should be done in about two weeks, and then we'll go to Owerri and see your father, okay? Who is from Owerri? I'm from Anambra State. Okay, sorry about that. Where in Anambra? I need you to be precise. Oh, okay. I'm from Oba. Yeah, so uh, that's fine. We'll go. We'll go and see you. Listen, I was thinking, should I, can I get your job? Like a, a good job, something that pays well? Can you work? Do you know how to work? I school and work. Yes, I'm almost done with school. And I'm into forest too. See. You see? I'm not yeah. one of those Abuja chip girls you think I am. Yeah, you don't need to rub it in. I should let you know.
must walk on that. Don't be carried away. Use your skills very well. When you walk or you eat all. Everything there for this world. Good and bad in Make you pick your choice. Make your choice. Join the game. Brew your water. No betray. Consequences there. Join the game. Consequency day, everything day for this world. Good and bad in day, make you pick your choice. Make your choice. Everything day for this world. Good and bad in day, make you pick your choice. Make your choice. Join the game, brew your water. No betray. Consequency day, join the game. Everything you've all done to me. Please. You molested me. You raped me. You poisoned me. You dealt with me. Now it's my turn. You have it. Now move. Fucking move! You idiot! I did not talk. Can you let me talk? Let me again. Will you shut up and let me talk? Shut me up and let me talk. If you like this now, break from me. Let me talk. Enough. Yes, okay. Allow him to state his own side of the story. Allow him. Please, God. Yeah, Your Majesty, with all due respect, I mean, this is so very disrespectful. It's okay. She spoke. I didn't say a word. Can I just say my own narration? Go ahead. Go ahead. So this is what happened. My friends and I, we ordered drinks. We went to the lounge. And... My friends and I were in the club and we ordered some drinks. And these Abuja club girls 
all rushed to our corner. We had some time sharpening drinks and had some lap dance from some of them because um, we were already tipsy. Some of them were drunk already and we all had a happy ending. Well, she and her friends were all over me because uh, I made it rain that night in the club. They, they even fought with themselves you know, who would leave with me that night. It was crazy. I was high already. I can't, I can't remember sleeping with her, but she was all over me. I never saw cheap girls like that. And after some months, she came to my house with some ugly fat girl that I, Prince Ezova, with her and she's carrying my baby. What a cheap blackmail. Of course, I walked them out because I knew it was a setup. Everybody in Abuja knows I work hard and I club well to enjoy my life, but for some cheap blackmail, next time she busted my house with a stupid lawyer, some hungry looking cheap creatures with guns to arrest me. Of course, I was scared. A lot of dirty shit happens in Abuja. Anyone, anybody can frame you up for money. Well, they forced me to sign some stupid agreement with a gun on my head. I paid over 15 million for that. A few days after that, I was driving out with my cousin. She blocked my car with her court girls. Pulled us out of my car. Your Highness, you needed to see these girls. Their eyes were red. They were high on drugs. Cheap drugs. Our lives were in danger. Themselves. They're all lesbians in there. It's ridiculous. Even Mary. Mary has joined them. Exactly. And you guys want me to take this shit and be with her? No, it's not gonna happen. Are you guys trying to kill me? You want me dead? Why? The only reason I'm tolerating this is because I'm trying to recover. Otherwise, I won't take this. Look, I have a surname and a name. I am Prince Austin Ezorba and I will not live with this. See, Ezorba, you will not do anything that will put us in another trouble. We'll look for a way and negotiate with the fat. 
This has got to stop. Don't worry. I will talk to her personally. And you guys want me to live with her? You don't need to negotiate anything with her. For what reason? Somebody who smokes and drinks? Does she not know that she's pregnant? Are you guys trying to make me go insane? Look, the general can do whatever he freaking wants to do. I don't care anymore. Whatever it is, I don't care. He should do it. But I'm not going to live with this. I'm not going to marry her for no... No, now. It's not possible. If they say I am responsible for the pregnancy, I will take it. But rape? I did not rape her. It was a consensual act. She agreed. We're two adults. We did it because she agreed to it. It was a mutual understanding. I mean, if she says I'm the father of the child, I mean, I can take that. Only if they will do a DNA test afterwards. I take responsibility of that child and train my child the way I want. But until then, I'm on the sideline. See, it's over. Don't do anything to me. I know the sound of that. That sound, when you start sounding like this, I know what it will come out. Please, don't do anything stupid. This room no more. Hey, like, I, I, did you drink of it? Hey, Zuzu, so she's gonna go for nothing. I don't want to see you downstairs here again. The air's over. So, after destroying my daughter, Ifat, you now want to come and test Hikocha even killing me. Eh? The one it, it finish the fat is not enough. It's equal to I want to put I find out. 
You know something? I want you to get out of this place. Go and get your parents. This wedding is not going to go until I find out the truth. And then um, he came. He did the page at one ante. He came. You go and tell the priest that the wedding is suspended. In fact, the wedding is cancelled, not suspended. I cannot stand here and watch you destroy my children. I want to see your parents. You are a very wicked man. Look at you. At your age, you are still looking for a wife to marry. Now, check if I run uncle. Kulun to Tukandiara Abubaloso. Uzumbu. Please. There is still way no, 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 no. Solve this problem. No, there's no way. How dare you treat my sister like that? And you are here to marry Finkley? I'm so disappointed at you. There's only one thing holding me right now. If not <laughs> because... If not what? If, if not what? Rapist. A beast like yourself. Walking around with human skin. Try any bullshit and I'll bury you alive. What is going on here? Why are you creating scene here? You should behave yourselves. <laughs> You want to put another thing here? Young man, go and call your parents for to prove yourself innocent, then you go and call the priest. Being my sister does not give you the yasti to come here and ruin my life. You've been away for four, five years, to God knows where, and suddenly you came back here to ruin my happiness, to spoil my joy. I mean, what for? Why? Well, you know what? I will not allow it to happen. So you better crawl back to that hole you came from and hide your face in shame. It is quite unfortunate that you're beginning to reason with your nose. You're beginning to think through your nose. If not that you were my sister, I would have baptized you both with acid and you know how it feels to be raped separately and have your womb destroyed. You know what? This jealousy didn't just start today. It has been there when we were little. You've always been jealous of me. But you know what? Do your worst. Really? I will spit on your grave. Really? Do you know what? I... I kind of have pity for you. I pity your miserable soul because you are about to crush yourself with that stupid relationship of yours. You... You feel you can challenge me now, right? You now feel you can challenge me. Do not take my quietness as foolishness. But you know what? This wedding will hold and there's nothing you can do about it. Don't make me hate you. Like I care. Look at jealousy spilling all over you. Okay. Since you have joined yourself with my enemy, Watch your back. <laughs> I am the princess of this kingdom. No one challenges my authority. No one tampers with me and goes scot free. Misery will overwhelm you and your bastard unborn children. 
I will not only dig your grave, I will show you the reason blood runs through my vein. What goes around, comes around. You just priced your death. Her womb has been damaged. And she sworn that over her dead body with the marry her sister. And the king got angry. Even the prince got angry that he wanted to kill Ezoba immediately. Hell was let loose. And the wedding was cancelled. Now, they brought me in. It was humanly impossible to convince the family. The other daughter eventually was heartbroken because they cancelled the wedding. Father, this is actually deep. So what would she do? Because she she can no longer conceive. Her womb has been damaged. Father, you see what I'm talking about? This is pure wickedness. Father, this is wickedness. This is wickedness. <laughs> yeah, the young man didn't do well. That's why the king cancelled the king and was ready to eliminate the young man because no one plays with his daughter and still remains the same. Well. After the king and his daughter traveled to find the solution, the princess and her mother came to me. They brought me in for solution also. <laughs> but it was an impossible mission. Did you just call my son a rapist? <laughs> Obi Kaleka. Obi Kaleka, this song you are playing, it can, we won't be able to dance it. No man cannot kill a madman that is older than him. Well, they expect me to respond to your uh, allegation until I hear from my son. Did you rape her? Answer your father. Can you calm down? Calm down, I'll explain. Explain what? That you left with Mrs. Tofia Fiance? Hey, It's over. We are going there tomorrow morning. What betide you if you are guilty? Hey! Abomination. I know that what my son did is wrong. It's abominable. But I'm here to ask for your forgiveness. Forgive him. It's unfortunate that your husband is not around. I want you to meet him so that we can settle this thing amicably. Please, I'm begging you. Tamper justice with mercy. Oh, here comes his best friend. You see, I. I know what my friend did was not the best. I tried to warn him. But the old Ezoba never wanted her in his house. He never wanted a child outside wedlock. So, he poisoned the drink so she can lose the child. Oh, really? 
without considering what it might cost all of us. Life is bigger than any of us. He used that his left leg to come back to Mary thinking, I heard it again. For what? Where is that bastard son of mine? Where is he? His friends are switched up. But Ezoba has changed. This is not the Ezoba. Shut of your mouth. Stop patronizing him. Stop patronizing us. He cannot run away from anyone. He can run from the law. Or my husband. Thank God that my husband is not around. Like I said earlier. Well, it's not 100% his fault. We can try and make peace for, for the sake of evangelism. Don't tell me those are useless talk. Don't! I don't want to hear it. Like I said, thank God that my husband is not around. Now both of you should leave my presence. No, no. Get out! The news in the palace now is that Prince Ezoba, four years ago, raped Princess Ifatu, got her pregnant, and has refused to accept the pregnancy. He was arrested. Yes, he was arrested, and he was forced to pay her five million naira. Do you know what again? <laughs> he was also forced to live with her in the house, or else he would go to jail. Where did you hear that story from? We yeah. village people, cho, 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 cho. What is the meaning of all this? Ah, ah. Where, you, where do you even get this kind of story from? All I know is that they are getting married in two weeks' time, and that is it. Stop all this, you're going gossiping up and down. What is it? Ah, ah. See me see your blue. Jealous, qua. Why should I be jealous? Jealous after four years' saga. The prince came back to marry Princess Ifenkili. And he was so shocked to know that Ife Kili is his twin sister. But guess what? Princess bowed over her dead body with the prince marry her. And as he stand now, I heard that the wedding has been cancelled. Yes, it has been cancelled. Because if her two school is damaged. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Is that why our king travelled with Princess Ifatu? Because of the womb? Hey, this is getting interesting. Maybe they wait to seek for solutions. Please, please, please. Let's not discuss this here. Biko, no. I beg, please, oh. Let's... Please, don't involve me. I didn't tell you anything. What this, is this one? You told me no, something. I didn't tell you anything. I heard that uh, dad is taking you abroad for treatment to find solutions to the problem. <laughs> you already know. And we'll be gone for a long time. So you are not free to do whatever you want. I am not going to get on your way ever again. Uh, uh You should know that most things I said were not actually from my heart. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> and I have come to know that white teeth is not white heart. Please, stay away from me. Consider me as your black enemy. Would you tell me to address you want to go? Please, do you let go? No, I can't do that. Besides, I didn't plan to be ready. Instead of missing myself, I did what I did. Please, I don't want you to go. You can actually stay back and support the fact on her wedding. I'm not just going to do what I did. I'm staying for the wedding and the actual event. That's it. I don't want you to go. You can actually stay. Forget a part of part. Let's start the new thing. You and all. You can please stay back. You're okay. 
Sister, stop crying. David won't cry in the first season. I want to promise you something. Nothing on earth, nothing in this life is going to destroy the, the sisterhood we share. You are my sister forever. No man is going to separate us. No man can come between us. I love you. I love you, my sister. Hello, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. Please, I, I have been trying to reach Ezoba, but his line is not connecting. Please, Your Majesty, just tell him that if I don't, that I will die if I, if I don't see him. Please, please, Your, Your Majesty, just talk to him. I don't know. I can't connect him. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Mother. London for solution. Why are you languishing in heartbreak? What is my offense? Is he my real father? Why is that each time if father comes back here, I'm always in tears? Just because we are twin sisters. Strong women don't live by emotions, they live by revelations. I brought you in a Christian world. But look at this shame and disgrace you are bringing into this family. Your sister's womb has been damaged by so-called husband to be. And you want us to sit, watch, and allow you to marry that rapist. Who does that? Mother, we don't even know the truth. If I could be lying, you know. See, if I has not been in this palace for the past four years, I cannot vouch for her. I can only vouch for Ezoba. Mother, if you do not allow me to marry Ezoba, be ready to bury me. What if I actually matter to you and father? What is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this girl?
Oh, I am disappointed. What is the problem? You know something? Both of you are stupid. I'm not sure you are my kids. He said this room no more. Hey, like, kai, kai, did you drink of it? Hey, Susu, Susu, you're going to go for nothing. I don't want to see you downstairs here again. The end's over. So, after destroying my daughter, I found, you now want to come and test Kikocha even killing me. Eh? The one, if you finish, in fact, it's not enough. I want to go to China final. You know something? I want you to get out of this place. Go and get your parents. This wedding is not going to go until I find out the truth. And um, he came. He did the page, I want to. I want to. He came. Father. You go and tell the priest that the wedding is suspended. In fact, the wedding is cancelled, not suspended. I cannot stand here and watch you destroy my children. I want to see your parents. You are a very wicked man. Look at you. At your age, you are still looking for a wife to marry. Now, check if I run uncle. Who to talk and the Arab will also. Ozumbu. There is still way no, 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 no. salt What gave you the right to slap my sister? You even locked up her apartment. Where do you want her to go? You even froze her account. Who gave you such rights? Well, listen, you. If you go on further, I'll end up slapping you twice what I did to you. Eh? You dare not. You need to be gone, sir. If you try it, I want this palace. Look at this one. Hey mom, you even supporting him. This one that I'm supporting him, that's exactly what we are saying before you came in. Tell his excesses. How could he lock up my sister's apartment and even froze her account for that matter? Eh? If and kill it. You see, there's an address in my place that um, you don't open the stomach of the tiger or the lion in public. No. You're blaming the wrong person. And now you want me to open the stomach of the tiger with you, so. I froze the account because your sister was bringing disgrace to this kingdom and I won't watch the name, good name I made over the years to be thrown into the waves, to the gutters. No, Mba. Now, Father, she's gone and she has vowed not to step her foot in this palace again. Oh yes, since you prefer outsider's gossip to your daughter's happiness. You are very stupid. You are very, very stupid. How dare you? How dare you? Don't think because the river is quiet that there are no crocodiles. No. Don't push me to do something that you will not like me to do. Now get me out of here. Oh. If I kill him. No, that's fine. What is 
wrong with this guy? to kill herself. Yes, if you do not allow her to marry Ezoba, what do I do? The devil is actually after my family. He wants to reap where you do not sow. What do I do? Where is the thing to live? Is she okay? I know physically she's not okay, and mentally she's devastated. Igwe has taken Ifa to London. They left here yesterday with the friends. And I am sure, if it is not positive, the head of those over will not remain on his shoulder. Hey, I fear for you, thank you. Because she feels that we are not really her two uh, parents. Okay. There must be a reason why she's deeply in love with those over. Such stupid, dirty love. Huh? Her sister's womb is damaged. Igwe will not allow her to marry that rapist. And you know your brother. He will never allow that to happen. You better go and talk to her. Because your brother will not allow her to marry that rapist. My queen is okay. What's all this? Your Majesty, you have to come and see my people. If, if I don't marry Zoba, it will be a sad one for me, Your Majesty. Hmm. Ifenkili, my daughter. I don't know how to say this to you, but I can't come and see your people. Your man, Ezoba, is nowhere to be found. Listen, I can't support a son who has brought shame to me. Yes, I have this own Ezoba. Nobody knows his whereabouts. Listen. I trent Ezoba in Catholic way, not as a rapist. Young lady, I will advise you to look for a decent young man that you will marry. Not a rapist who defied your sister. Why do you choose to cite my sister? Someone who has disappeared for four years. We don't even know the kind of life she has lived. It's a sad thing that you don't even know your son. It's so sad. Because he's innocent. And it's because you do not believe him. That's why he has gone dark on everybody. The shame is too much. But I, if Ifenkili, will not rest until I see him and marry him. And there's nothing anybody could if do. Ifenkili, if my son Ezoba is innocent, let him come and tell me that he's innocent. Listen, young lady, let me tell you something. What I see down sees, if you climb the tallest building, you can't see it. Listen, I know your parents cannot support you on this. And you cannot stand your father's feet when he comes. Okay? Just take things easy. There's so much pressure in these palaces. I'm living this place. I, I, I've been trying to call Ezoba. His line is not connecting. I, I've been like I don't even know how to reach him or where to find him. Please, do you know where he is? Have you seen him? I, I don't know what he's been about. Please. I've been trying to contact him too. I, I don't know. I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you see him, just tell him that I miss him so much. You know, I, I was, I'm still with one of his kidney. I have just carrying his kidney. Also tell him I'm pregnant. Please, just tell him I miss him. I love him. He's my life. He's my destiny. He's everything. Just tell him everything. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. When I see, anytime I see him, I'm, I don't know. I, I've not seen him. But anytime I see him, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay? He's my everything. It's my I know, everything. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, just yeah. remind me, he's my everything. I know. Relax. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Oh, yeah, nothing is hidden. 
My friend Gina is here to tell the whole story. This is what happened. It is happening. And leave this place this minute. Just get up and delete to useless stuff from this palace! What? Honey, what was going on? Do you know my sister? Have you met her before? No. I don't freaking know her. Do you know me? No, I don't know. I've never met her before. She don't know me? No, I don't. You don't freaking know me! No, I don't freaking know. I see you don't know me! Oh really? Sis, is this supposed to be your husband? This man can never get married to you! He is a monster! He is a beast! Are you jealous of me or what? I have no reason to be jealous of you. You don't know this man too well. Please just get up and leave this man! Just now! He's not going anywhere. <laughs> what, what, what is going on here? Yes! He's going nowhere! Dad! Mom! Why are you both quiet? Why is she embarrassing my fears like that? Yeah. Hey! In fact, is something wrong with your brain? Are you not? You don't have any respect for me? Not only that I'm your father, I'm the ego of this kingdom. I have the effrontery to ask my visitor to leave. Mba, something is wrong with you. Definitely something is wrong with you. Don't let me lay a curse on you.
And you see a cat. A cat. And rat. Becoming too close. There's a common enemy. And I told you the other time. Before you insult the river, make sure you have crossed the bridge. You know something? Get out of this place. Get out! Can I just like that? people around you? I said, get out of here. The wedding is cancelled. Go! and education. And what do you pay in return? This unity. What is your problem? I am sorry, mother. I said sorry, 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 I am so embarrassed at this. Forgive me. And uh, I will ask, forgive your presence. I don't want any trouble. You, you can't go, Sunny. You can't go. This is my father's palace. She has no right to throw you out. Well, I'm sorry. No, no, you can't leave, Sunny. I'm getting married before you. See, I have no reason to be jealous of you. You can't go ahead and marry every other man, but you see this monster here. He can never marry you. Never. It will never work. He's a rat. This man right here got me pregnant. He raped me. What? He molested me, got me pregnant, he harassed me and abandoned me. And he here to marry my sister. I said he should never be well with you. When you're looking like this, what's going on? I just, I just don't know. A lot is going on in this palace, a lot is happening, and it's driving me crazy. What is it? Tell me about it. It's not my sister, she's out to ruin my life, she's out to, to destroy me, to ruin my relationship with Ezoba. And the worst part of it is that everybody's supporting her. Uh -uh. What's Ezoba saying about it? Even his family, what are they doing? You already know that everyone is scared of my dad, you know, and he's wrong. But the worst part of it is that Ezra is even nowhere to be seen. I've not seen him. I've not heard from him. Have you gone to the palace? I've gone there. I've been there. He's not there. No one seems to know where he is. It seems as if he just disappeared. He, he's MIA, like he communicated, like I can't even reach him. Ha, this is serious. So. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. He will definitely turn up. Please, just so calm I'm down. just tired. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm just tired. 
said you are threatening to kill yourself if you don't marry Ezoba. Why? Father, Ezoba is my destiny. <laughs> and no one will stop my relationship with him. Not even my sister, Ifato. And if my mother wants to end my relationship with Ezoba, I will end my life. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You will kill yourself because of a man. What is even wrong with you and your sister? Your sister's womb is affected, so you want to marry the same man? What is wrong with you? This madness, it has to stop. It has to stop. Guess you have forgotten the parents you have. Eh? You don't even have pity for your sister. Not even a single person. If I can, this has to stop. Mother, it would, it's obvious people don't even care about my happiness. You would have asked to see the reason why I want to die with Azoba before crucifying him. It's okay. Let us hear from her. Hmm? Thank you. Tell us. Mother, during my youth service, I fell sick. I mean terribly sick. I was rushed to the hospital. Unfortunately, the doctor diagnosed that one of my kidneys was bad. What? And I needed a transplant. I didn't know what to do. I was shattered. I couldn't call you because I know you will call father. And considering his health, I didn't want to burden my problems onto you people. And in fact, it's even nowhere to be found. So I was just devastated there in the hospital but fortunately Ezoba came God just sent him to me he, he inquired what the problem was and the doctor told him I needed a transplant he volunteered himself to give me his kidney mother yes and he did so I'm living with his kidney right now one of his kidneys From the results of the test, you are going down and needed urgent attention. Except you want to. I try to reach my people. You know, I can't talk to my father because of his health condition. My mom traveled out of the country. It's my brother I'm trying to reach, but I can't. I don't know why this thing came at this point. Oh God, God, this is bad news for me. <laughs> you know, in this country, we don't like going for checkup. We said the condition becomes critical. But regular checkup can avoid some trouble for us. Your situation is critical. I need urgent attention. I said you want. Doctor. Yes, this is over. You are not in the yet. Hey, is this not the lady we spoke about the last time that needs the kidney transplant? Yes, she's the one. Uh, uh, look, I'm here to assist. Doctor, please, I've decided, I've settled with myself that I will donate my kidney. Look, I've been told I'm not going to live. I will die soon. But before I die, I want to do something good. I want to save a life. So don't worry. Perhaps I will be that thief on the cross that Jesus will accept in paradise. So I'm willing to give you my kidney. Okay? 
Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Yes, doctor. He's saying, who are you? Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm 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 a donor. That's what is important. Okay. Can we go to Okay, just bring your hand. Let's go. What's your name? I'll be very clear. Thank you. Yes. It's okay. Thank Everything you. will be fine. Thank you. Just wipe your tears. Thank Put a smile you. on your face, okay? Thank you. Oh, God. I can't believe this. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know. Oh. You had a surgery and you hid it from us. Can you people imagine this girl? Are you my child or a stranger? You and your sister want to kill us in this family. You want to cause high BP for each and every one of us in this family. Is it not? Thank God the surgery was successful. The devil would have mocked us. Exactly. Hey! If Father. To your sister, Ezoba is evil. To you, Ezoba is your savior. I pray God will have mercy on your sister so that she will be healed. Amen! Amen! Your Majesty. Father. Show yourself. I believe God has purpose for everything. If not for his order, if Enkri wouldn't be alive today. You see? Mother, Ezoba is the reason I am alive today. And I am pregnant for him. Pregnant? Lolo, I did my GG fella. Yes. I have not set my eyes on Ezoba for the past 80 years. And I don't know the sort of life he has been living. Your husband has the final say. Whatever he wants to do to him, he is justified. Yes. Nobody can stand and watch his daughters will be destroyed. It's quite unfortunate. We should be celebrating their wedding. But because of their carelessness and recklessness, which brought this show of shame to us. My dear, if Franklin is bent on marrying his Oba, she has never been stubborn to us. For her insisting of marrying him, myself I'm tired. I don't know what to say. I have nothing to say about this. It beats me. Yes. Ezoba knows that I cannot support him. Because I don't support evil. Yes. But let us wait and see. To know the outcome of your husband's trip to London. Hmm. Yes. I just pray they come back with good news. First. Before if Enkele will elope with your son. Because young ones these days. They can do what one cannot imagine. All right. Honestly, well, let's, let's hope for the best. I pray we hope for the best. Is the worst company you need right now. This life is a misery, isn't it? I mean, we all know that. You remember her words? What goes around comes around and hangs around those that are around because this life is round. I warned you that the seeds of yesterday goes into the future. Sinking yourself in alcohol is a symbol of weakness. Look, we don't say it's over until we win. Oh, jeez. 
God doesn't consider your past to bless your future. Does he? No, he doesn't. I don't even see any future with Ifatu. It is that bad. Her parents are mad at me. Parents, family don't want to see me. My dad has vowed to disown me. Wedding is cancelled. I mean, come with me. You see, your future is not theirs to decide, but yours. You decide to sell it out, nobody will buy it back for you. You know what to do and where to go. Get an offering. Sow a good seed on the altar of heaven. Shake the altar of heaven. So, the leper forgive is over. There's so much pressure in this palace. I'm leaving this place for peace. Yes, to reign. yes so I am now the daughter in law to go and Thank you, Mama. Hey, mommy, I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Um, I thank God for today, you know, you see a man who planted a mango tree near the expressway and the man who married a beautiful wife, they suffer unknown hardship. When the mango is ripe, people will be throwing stones at the mango. Hmm? So that's what happened to your marriage. Initially, we were throwing stones at you. It's just like the man that married the beautiful wife. Eh? When she's going to market, people will throw stones. And then, um, I am happy to see her. She shall be well with you. He said. She shall be well with you. He said. You will deliver safely. He said. Whatever God gives to you, you will appreciate it. He said. Deliver in peace. He said, I won't bury you. He said, Whoever causes you, he will sleep before power. He said, I say you say shall leave it. He said, Ubi Kareka, my son, Igwe has given his blessing to you, and it's time for me to bless you as a son. You know, the good book says that a man who finds a good woman finds a good thing. And you obtain favor from everywhere, not only from the gods. I bless you today. He said, this marriage shall be fruitful. He said, this marriage, nothing, nothing shall come to you. You will live happy. Said, you will live happy. Said, your children will train you. Said, As you made us happy today, so your children will make you happy. Said, I bless you. Said, eh? May you live long. Um, 
opportunity in life. When you want to jump into the river to become a fisherman, you will first not your heart. Now, because when you dip into the river without consulting your ancestors, I think your ancestors will be welcome in there. <laughs> oh! I'm so happy. Yes. If your ancestors are pursuing you because of wickedness, even bananas, banana leaves, the pills. Say. All of you will not fall down. Say. May your SS will not remember you. Say. Oh! Bobby Galeka, never mama again. So you have to forgive your mother in law. <sighs> Um, babe, I was thinking of running an online kitchen. Okay. But I just have um 200,000. So I was thinking if maybe I would print a few flyers, mm. post on my social media, tag a few friends, and then if anybody place an order for any meal, I'll just cook and... I'll send it out via a dispatch rider instead of staying idle. What do you think? It's a good idea. As long as it doesn't stress you. Okay. And all these useless boys now will now start calling you and now start you know that they want to order food and start disturbing your line. And this is where jealousy comes in. Uh, you know what, babe? No man will see my body except you. No, I'm only protecting my interest. I don't use um, forever. I want to. <laughs> okay. Thank you, babe. Good idea. So, what would you want to eat? Let me start with you. <laughs> Pop. This is the Pop. Pop. Pop Anakara. Pop Anakara. Very simple. You said you don't want people to stress me. You, you want to stress me. No, where should buy, I get? Buy Akara. Okay. Don't make a kind of buy. <laughs> okay, babe. Hello? Yes, this is Nina. Three bowls? Yes, yes, I, I can, I can make it available. One bowl of vegetable, two bowls of obolo. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, ma. Yes, ma, I won't disappoint. Just that I need to go to the market so everything will be fresh. Just give me like three hours. Everything will be available. Yes, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Thank you very much. Once the food is ready, I would call for the for the address. Yes, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. Yes! I told my husband. Hello? Yes, yes, I sent the dispatch rider already. You'll get it soon. Yes, thank you, my yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Business is going fine. Oh. 
Where is home? Where's my son? Hey, Mama. Welcome, Mama. Good afternoon. I ask again, where is my son? Mama, I greeted you. You didn't answer me. I answered you now. Or are you deaf as well as Barry? Or Sima, I, I greeted you. Is your greeting going to change the weather of Nigeria? Eh? Where is my son? Mama, I'm not Barry. Then am I deaf? I don't know. And for your son, he went to work. But Mama, you didn't even tell us you were coming. Hey! Nena, so I'm supposed to seek permission from you before I come to my son's house. I've always known it. You lack manners. No home training! Your mother did not train you well. Mama, Mama, please, I beg you in God's name. I've not done anything to you. You don't have to insult me. Why, 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 why are you doing this to me? Am I God that gives children? At the right time, God will give me my child. God will give you child at the right time. Do you think that I don't know that you tied my son? Six good years now, no child. No child. And my son is in his 40s. And you want me to keep quiet? My only son? Listen, it's either you get pregnant by fire, by force, or you leave this house. Mama, Mama, I want you to understand something. Educate me. I'm not the you. one that gives children. Mm -hmm. Mama, at the right time, God will give me my own children. Mm -hmm. And please, Mama, I beg you, if you have been sent to me to destroy me, Mama, please. Go back to them and tell them you didn't see me. Moreover, before you came in here, I am my husband. Your son has been living in peace. Mama, please. You're a stupid girl. I said before you lack home training. Look at you, no child. You've never conceived since you entered this house. Let us say, ah, there was a miscarriage for one so. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My, husband, my son is living with a man. Man married to a fellow man. Shameless idiot. Look at what she's wearing, married woman. Everything's showing. Everything's showing. You have spoiled your womb when you are a young girl. That is why you cannot produce anymore. And I want my son not to marry you from beginning, but he never listened to me. Listen, I haven't come for peace. Me, I have come for wahala. You can keep your peace. Because as long as I'm here, Nena, you must get pregnant or you leave this house. Have you heard me? You must get pregnant or you leave my son's house. See, this house without a table to fossil. I am not going anywhere. I will stay here until you give birth or you leave this house. Useless woman. All she knows every day. She, chicken, talking, chicken, talking. I know, man. Mm. Mama. Mama, you never told us you were coming. You came on and out. Next. So that is something my wife. You even called her a witch. Mama, why? Nah. Is this how you welcome your mother? Is this how you welcome the woman? that trained you single-handedly. When your father and his wicked family abandoned us under the weather to die, I single-handedly picked you up and raised you. And this, is this how you talk to me? However I talk to you, you deserve it. You deserve even more. You came into my house unannounced. Next, you started insulting my life. You even called that Barry. Who does that? Number why? Shut up! Shut your mouth. Anyway, I don't blame you. She has charmed you. 
she has given you, you have eaten, you have swallowed, it has saturated all your body. Okay. But don't worry, I am here to clear it off your head. Six years. Six good years of no child in this house. You're busy wasting your spam. Listen, the sooner you throw away that thing you call wife, the better for you. Hey, my wife, my wife, my wife. Mama, let me sound it. You see my wife? She's my life. And there's nothing you will do, absolutely nothing you will do to separate us. You understand? I know six years no child. Yes, but we are good. We are okay. You raised me to trust God. Okay? So, if, if you're here to cause any trouble or more trouble, I suggest you rethink. Yes, six years no child. We are okay. We don't have any problem. If you're here to cause more trouble, please, my door, my gate, they are open. Leave. Take your things. And get out. Please. Oh yeah. It's like you have forgotten who your mother is. Nine months I carried you in my womb. Nine good months I gave birth to you. Now, if you think you can push me by the side just because of that thing you call your wife, you are joking. I go nowhere. If anybody is leaving this house, it's that thing you call your wife. That's which I call your wife. She should be the one to leave. Not you. Mm. Mama, you raised me to trust God. You raised me to believe God. And there's nothing God can do. And you're here mocking us. Mocking me. Mocking my wife. Kambucha. But I have no slash for you. I said, like I said, my wife is my life. You're my mother. You cannot separate us. Let me tell you something. Very soon, God will shock you because my wife will soon give birth to twins. And when you're ready, you're in trouble. You can leave. If you want to stay here, do not fight my wife again. As much as your mom might have said wrong things to me, you don't have any right to, to raise your voice at her. But she has no right to insult you. I know, baby. Listen, every mother needs a grandchild. We oh, we just need to follow her up with love. I know, I know, but you don't know my mom. She has no right to insult you. See, my mom believes you have that you that you charm you have charmed me for like six years. No child. I know her very well. She's Raz if you don't check her. She's Raz. I know what she can do. Okay? See, I won't have anybody insult you and go scot free like that. It's not possible. Baby, listen. You are the best gift that God gave to me. Baby, I know you care so much about me. Yes. But I told you, no one can bring me down. No one can make me look less of myself. All we need to do is show your mom some love. Love conquers everything. But listen, I have a mother, and soon I'll become a mother too. Just mm. watch me win her over with my love. You don't know my mother. You don't know her. My mom can only smile with you when she sees you pregnant. Oh, she has the kind of a baby. I know her very well. Okay? You know what, baby? Just relax. I don't want this whole scenario to make you feel sad. I don't need this whole scenario to steal your joy away. Listen, I need you to be happy. This it shouldn't steal your joy. Remember, love conquers everything. Mm -hmm. Come here. Okay. Mama, 
Good afternoon, ma. My lunch is ready. Should I serve your food? Are these my clothes? Yes, mama. You I, washed them? I, yes, I washed them. Mama, let me save you your food so you eat. So you washed my clothes? Why yes, didn't you wash all of it? Mama, huh? some, some are still outside. No, I mean, you washed these ones. Why didn't you wash my panties with them? Huh? My undies are soaked in my bathroom. Why didn't you wash them with my clothes? Mama, yes? You were sleeping. I packed all your clothes. I washed them. I want to start ironing. And you're asking me why I didn't wash your panties. I don't even wash that of my husband. Mama, please. My parents did not raise me to wash people's panties. I cannot wash it. Maybe you wash it after eating. I said it. I said it. You were not trained well at all. They didn't train you at all. They didn't teach you anything. But that's okay. Since you were not taught at home, I'm ready to teach you here. Now, go upstairs. Pack my dirty undies and wash all of them. Have you heard me? Mama, sorry I cannot do. Every clean girl washes their, their panties when they, when they are bathing. Me, I can't wash your panties. Moreover, I'm not your slave. I'm your son's wife. But my son washes my undies for me. Yes. So why can't you do it? <sighs> Mama, please, I cannot do it. <laughs> Don't you dare walk out on me when I'm talking to you. Are you mad? <sighs> Rubbish. Mama, yes. You dare not drag my hair again. If I drag, what will you do? Ma I not only drag your hair, I pushed you down. What will you do? Mama. Mama, please, mm. tell the devil you didn't see me. Mama, you dare not try it. You dare not try it. I'm not your slave. What is going on here? Mama? What's, what's happening here? Ask your mother. If anything should happen to me, oh, if anything should happen to me in this world, my blood will be on your head. After suffering, after selling all my rapper to train you in the rest of I come to your house only to be insulted by this thing you call life. To be insulted by this barren witch. No, no. Hey. Babe, what happened? <laughs> Your mother came into this house in anger. She accused me of bewitching her son, which is you. And yet, I cook for her. I run errand for her. I even went as far as washing her clothes. And just because I didn't wash her undies, yeah. your mother called me a buried witch. That's not no. She pushed me down and threatened to slap me. <sighs> Mom, Mama. <laughs> Mama, do, can you do it? Did I hear on these pants? Mm. Mama, did you ask me? You asked my wife to wash your pants. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hey, what is wrong with that? As in what? Is she your slave? Oh, you even pushed her down. So I fight him. You know what? You leave my house now. What? No, you're leaving my house. Ah! Oh. So these are your clothes. Go in there. Pack your stuff. Pack your bag. Get out from my house. Ha! Huh. I you go in my house. I won't go anywhere. You won't stay here. Ah! You can't stay in my house. It's not possible. No, you can't insult her now. For what? Is she your slave? As in what? You mean this thing you're saying? Of course. You're leaving. Go in there. Move your stuff. Get out. 
if I leave this house, if I should leave this house, I'll make your life unbearable. I'll make your life miserable. You are this thing for wife. Leave my house. Thank God you're my mother, if not, eh? Let's go. I might leave, leave that. I don't, I don't let me push you. Leave, leave. We have enough. We've had enough of you. Leave. Pack your stuff. I know you. Go. No, she's going already, sorry. It's okay. Right? Just tell me. It's okay, it's okay. Where am I? It is wrong. No, no. Yes, I'm coming out already. You will see me shortly, relax. Useless barren bitch. This is just the beginning. If you survive this, I'll come back. I'll make sure that I bury you. I pour sand over your grave. You think you can take my son from me? Rat. Why will your mother hit my sister with iron? She wants her dead, right? What if she had died during the process of the hit? You know my mom, she's screwed up at the station now. She will surely pay for that. Okay? But I need to see my wife for this house. She's not around. And she does not want to see you. Neither does she want to have anything to do with you nor any member of your family. It's unfortunate that your mother is a beast. I need to see my wife. She's all I have. Okay. Like I said earlier, she is not here. She does not want to see you. I mean, it's barely two weeks. Just two weeks you traveled and your mother came to kill my sister. My only sister. I never know how much I love you. Nobody, say nobody. Nobody can say nobody else. Okay. I'm not going to read her. I'm just coming out. Read my lips. She is not here. Thank your stars she's still alive. Else you wouldn't have been here to tell me this rubbish. But you know how much I love your sister. You know that very well. Nobody, nobody, even, even my mom can never say precious. Like I said earlier, she is not around. Okay? And I don't even think she will ever in her entire life forgive your mother. She is evil. Where can I see her? I don't know. You can use the door. Hmm. I saw your sister's husband. What did he go with him? He came in search of his wife. But as for his mother, he has locked her up. That beast rot in jail. Huh. I'm still wondering, how could a mother be so wicked and mean? She's lucky she would have seen the other side of me. But that your sister husband, he looks like a good guy. Hmm? I hope you are not eyeing him. He's a no-go area. <laughs> Madam, I beg you. I'm so cool with my sugar daddies. Brett, uh, mm.
Hello, dear. Your husband just left now. I swear to God, your husband loves you so much. He loves you. As for that, your wicked mother-in-law, she's in the cell. Yes, your husband locked her up. That beast of a woman will rot in jail. Well, you can come back to the house. He just left. Fine. I'm waiting. Okay. You have to forgive her because of God. Hey, in as much as your mom might have said wrong things to me, you don't have any right to, to raise your voice at her. But she has no right to insult you. I know, baby, listen. Every mother needs a grandchild. We, oh, we just need to follow her up with love. I know. I know, but you don't know my mom. She has no right to insult you. See, my mom believes you have that you that you charm you have charmed me for like six years. No child. I know her very well. She's ras if you don't check her. She's ras. I know what she can do. Okay? See, I won't have anybody insult you and go scot free like that. It's not possible. Baby, listen. You are the best gift that God gave to me. Baby, I know you care so much about me. Yes. But I told you. No one can bring me down. No one can make me look less of myself. All we need to do is show your mom some love. Love conquers everything. But listen, I have a mother and soon I'll become a mother too. Just mm. watch me win her over with my love. You don't know my mother. You don't know her. My mom can only smile with you when she sees you pregnant. Oh, she has a kind of a baby. I know her very well. Okay. You know what, baby? Just relax. I don't want this whole scenario to make you feel sad. I don't need this whole scenario to steal your joy away. Listen, I need you to be happy. This it shouldn't steal your joy. Remember, love conquers everything. Mm -hmm. Come here. Okay. Life is deeper than as we see. Well, she later got married to a military boy, Ido. And she was nice to Ido. Ido was also nice to her. By the grace of God, she let her conceive. Ido had this terrible experience in military that made him to go closer to God and put all his faith in God. Hmm? Hello, Mom. There are some already good problems I'm still here. No, they've not seen me yet. They are having a meeting at the Royal Garden. Yes, ma'am. It's okay, I will come see you immediately as I'm done here. You are welcome. Thank you, my lord. You see, it is seven months since you wedded my daughter. <laughs> and I made an offer to you, which I know a little more than you. Probably because 
I say it in humble. And I want to apologize for that now. The purpose of all this is because her twin sister just put to bed. Oh, I want my daughter to be pregnant so that I can carry her baby before joining my ancestors. Hmm? I want her to be happy so she can forget her past. That's why I called you. If my asking you in public made you angry, I am sorry. Very, very sorry. Your Highness, you don't have to be sorry. I know you want the best for us. And you want her to be happy too. I did not decline your offer out of pride. That is far from it. Your Highness, all I'm saying is give us one year. Just one year, Your Highness. Let us bond well. Let us build our love stronger. Let us get to know each other well and better. That is all I ask, Your Highness. Let us enjoy ourselves for this one year. I promise you, my king, next year we will have our child, a baby girl. We will all go Thanksgiving together. <laughs> you talk as if you are from the kingdom of the gods. <laughs> as if you are Chukwa hmm? Your Highness, I am not God, but I am the Son of God. And I believe in God so much. You see? God said we should believe in it. That which our hearts desire us. Hmm. It's worrisome. Very, very worrisome, I must say. It's no more funny. It's okay, I'll put that into consideration, Your Highness. Greetings, Father. <laughs> okay. My dreams. Hello. My in-law. A super <laughs> one of that. <laughs> when did you return? Uh, a few days ago, actually. Yeah, that's good. And how is my sister keeping up? She's fine. It's plenty. Trust me, she's very okay. Perfect. Yes. I've heard the conversation with my father. As a matter of fact, if you can actually do what you say, you'll be the happiest parents on the planet. It's obvious. That's why we invited you here. Yeah. Nothing is just you. All I'm asking for is one year. This year, you know how it is. All I'm looking for is for you to bond. Let's bond for a year. Let's get to know each other better. Build our love on a solid rock. You know how it is. You know what I'm talking about. Father, then let's just let them be. Just let them be. Let them bond. And trust me, they'll make you the happiest parents on the planet. I want you far too happiness. I want to carry her baby before I join my ancestors. I'm not getting younger. Father, you are still strong. Oh. There's so much pressure in this palace. I'm leaving this place for peace. Auntie, please, I'm not going to accept any help from you. My husband loves me the way I am. My husband loves me the way I am. And you believe him? If you can accept to marry me in this condition, why won't I believe him? Okay. I told you that she will not agree to that. Okay. If they can reject that help, and they think they will accept your help, okay. especially though, you see that man, his fate is out of here. So forget about it. Look at you. Huh? A lot of men have given testimony about this hurt. Yeah. And your husband actually rejected my brother's offer out of pride. They are kind of walking off. And touch on me, or why you watch on me now? Yeah. Uh huh. And she. I told you not to worry yourself, man. You see what you've got. I'm only trying to help her. Let me hold your auntie, please, please, please. I know what you did was out of love, but right now she has gone. Let me go after her. Okay. If I have to. Okay. Okay. There's so much pressure in this 
No, no. You tell him. You should be worried about speaking. He's bent on marrying a little girl woman. Why are you feel man? How will the children speak Igbo? Eh? And what if they end up not coming back to the village again? Okay, what will happen? He's jealous. The father rejected the girl. So they have the son the son? Yes. That's the more reason that he refuses to come back to Nigeria. Ika Abugum, I am so tired about the whole thing. And he even loved this girl more than the truth. Yes, the last encounter he had with his father, he said that hence he has discovered that he do not love his wife, either for him to stay abroad, because we do not care about his happiness. So I don't really know what to do. Honestly. It's a thing of joy that I am alive to witness your wedding. Nah, I'm alive to see your proceeding tummy. Nah, you need to check one more final. Hey, hey! Thank you, my friend. You call your mom. I got a mom kitty here. I'm so happy. Hmm? Hi! Adam here. That's him. Don't worry. I will make sure your mother will come when you put to bed. Yes, that, that's sure. But that you promised me to come. Adam, uh, your mother will come. I will take care of the room for you. Well, she, hey, I know. If I come and start going now, you really want to start crying. I will not and cry. Feel I'm, I'm grown now. I want you to come. Okay, now, yeah. Please, Adam. Um, you have to come. Let's go before you miss your flight. Thank you. Thank you for this. Oh. Uh, you're this baby! I don't get it. I'm there! It's okay. She's my wife, I guess. Alright, father. We'll see you soon. I don't know where you are. I don't know where my sister is. I don't know where you are. Bye bye. 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 I don't want whatever go by the way of way up. Or is that when the Nadi Batara or Jenu Macho Wanga? Never mind any who are not your mamma for walk. Oh, in the man any who will give you shot or mamma. Or be on the shadow of any young who can in a walk we have to be care. Mama Bakwa. <laughs> you never know the strength of a warrior until the come comes to become. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, thank you, my ancestors. Thank you. Thank you. There's so much pressure in these palaces. I'm leaving this place for peace to reign. Always fighting, every time is battle. When what are you fighting? 
being for mm, What are you fighting for? It seems everything is turning against me I'm deeply in love with you, my baby Allow me to fight It seems everything 